Good evening, I'm Susan Ford with Community Diary. The Esperance Shire Council is looking for a show of public interest before approaching the Minister for Police requesting that a neighbourhood watch scheme be introduced in Esperance. The scheme would only work if it has the acceptance of the community and the council requests any persons or groups of persons who would participate in the scheme to contact the, uh, the council offices. The CBC Basketball Club wishes to advise all members and supporters that the annual general meeting will be held on Thursday at the Piccadilly Hotel commencing at 7.30pm. All members, old and new, are urged to attend and will be made most welcome. The Head Injured Society will be holding a fashion parade at the Red Cross Rooms tomorrow afternoon at 1.30pm. Devonshire teas will be provided and the cost of entry is only $2. There will be a Lucky Door prize and cakes for sale. And anyone who could bake a cake is asked to bring it along with them. The Goldfield Men's Softball League will be holding their annual general meeting tonight at the Federal Hotel at 7.30pm. All new clubs uh, wishing to join the league for the summer season are asked to attend. There are 10 places available for unemployed people to train as bar attendants over a two-week course offered by CES. Kath McGoughley of Kalgoorlie CES has been disappointed at the lack of response to courses offered. If this opportunity to train for a job in the growing hospitality industry is not well received, the course due to start on Monday next week will not begin. Muck and Budden's Lions Club is holding an informative evening in Southern Cross on Wednesday at the Yilgarn Recreation Complex at 8pm. Come along and find out why Southern Cross needs a Lions Club. All interested persons are welcome to attend and a light supper will be provided. For further information, please call Colin Martinich during office hours on 491001. And calling all folkies. The Colonials start their tour of Meriden, Southern Cross, Kalgoorlie and Cambalda on the 2nd of September. Their first appearance will be at the Oasis Hotel Meriden, then in Southern Cross on the 3rd, Hannon's Club in Kalgoorlie on the 4th and the Goldfields Folk Club at St John's Cadet Hall on the 5th, Judd's Hotel on the 6th and the Cambalda Country Club on Saturday, September the 7th. The Colonials are presently recording their new cassette album before embarking on their tour and John Hogan, the most recent addition to the lineup, has contributed some fine vocal, guitar and bodron work to the overall sound. That's all for me and now it's time for regional news with Liam Bartlett. <laughs>